Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back. If you are looking for the utter depths of despair in all of YouTube, you found it. I headed out to one of my favorite thrift stores today, and I make a couple dumb, dumb errors, stupid mistakes. Even after 12 years of doing this, I still make mistakes. I'm just excited to show you these mistakes and talk about them a little bit in hopes that you don't make these same mistakes. That's a lot of the word of mistakes. So let's go thrifting. Headed into my favorite thrift store, and we'll slow it down once we get back to the goodies. If you've been here before, I go straight to the toys and the board game section. Look at all those beauties. I sell a lot on Amazon, specifically board games. Uh, I thought I found something cool in this Sudoku game. I'm sure I said that wrong. Uh, I thought it would get I was shocked. Only selling for about 11 bucks. I would have lost money if I bought that. Beat the parents, paid two bucks, sold uh, 14 bucks on Amazon. I'll make a few bucks, but right behind it, uh, this Codemaster, brand new, asking four bucks at the thrift store. I'll make six or seven dollars, so that was a cool little find. First mistake of the day, going behind these fake bushes that Grandma always used to warn me about. Stay away from those bushes, young man. Uh, I should have listened to Grandma. 35 bucks. It looks good on paper. I'm only paying 10, only quote in quotes. 10 is pretty high, but I still would have doubled my money. However, 635,000, that's sales rank at the top corner of the page. If you don't know much, number one is being is, is the best rank. If you don't know much about sales ranks on Amazon, I'll talk about it in the future. Uh, you can YouTube it or Google. People are, are definitely talking about it, but it was a bad buy. This might take all year to sell if ever. So it was a really bad buy based on that sales rank alone. Uh, then we go on to these puzzles. Reminds me of back in the day when I first started. I used to buy used open puzzles and count the pieces and hope they were all there. And uh, it wasn't it wasn't a good time. I, I five five thumbs down. Don't recommend. Dr. Freud's therapy ball. Never found this before. Paid a buck for it. Sold twenty five bucks within a couple hours. I was actually pretty shocked. Um, it's pretty cool. Jeopardy 2024 calendar. I knew I had to get these into Amazon quickly as people will be looking for a 2025 calendar soon. But I was restricted on Amazon. My last video, I talk about how to get uh, approval on on the spot. You can see here, that's, that's the message I got. However, check out this video and uh, you can see I got instantly approved. And so I was able to purchase these and sell them on Amazon and check out that video if you want to kind of see how that works. And then HP photo paper. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. These ones weren't, but check them out if you see them out in the wilds. You know, some of them actually go for some really decent money. Like I would have lost money on these particular ones. Tape, cassettes. Take, uh, I, I found these three. I don't recommend looking up every tape you see, but you know, look up uh, a few every now and then and get a little familiar with them. There's a little bit of money in some of them. I did find this classical uh, CD set, which sells for 143 bucks. I wasn't approved and I didn't get approved, unfortunately. So I checked it out on eBay. I would have made a hundred bucks on Amazon. eBay, it wasn't selling very well. I ended up leaving that behind. VHS, I like to buy. You can lot them up. I like to wait till I have 10 or so and then lot them up for 35, 40 bucks. Then I perfectly perched this game just for this video, this Wii game. Don't find a lot of video games at this particular store on the wilds, but did find this three bucks, sold it for 14 plus, plus some shipping. So I made a few bucks. I love these kind of buckets, these random goodies of buckets, get my hands in there, cut myself, look for deals. I find this, this is mistake number two. I found this aftermarket Wii silicone case here. And then next to it, I found these actual Wii uh, actual authentic uh, OEM Nintendo silicone uh, Wii controller covers. I have no idea. It was bad. It was a dollar, dollar each after fees and everything and selling these only for 12 bucks. I don't even know if I made money. I might have lost 50 cents. Bad $4 spent thrown into the abyss. Making mistakes is the greatest learning tool there is. Mistakes will come in different forms. And you go out there and the more experience you get from making mistakes, the less mistakes you tend to make as you get older. Unless you're a dumb dumb like me. So get out there. Don't be afraid of failing. It's part of this business and it's part of life. Enough yammering. Let's get back to sales. I found this Crusades DVD selling for 11 bucks. I think I paid two or three dollars for, for this. So I'll double my money found these filtreat um, filters three bucks on the shelf and I found two of them I'm gonna lot them up sell them for 40 bucks just like somebody else did here on eBay so that was a cool little find then I go back to the corner where there's actually more board games makes my heart happy I found this whack-a-mole I used to sell a lot of whack-a-moles uh, strange as that might sound out loud collectible even use this condition selling for 23 bucks and you can usually find them pretty cheap I would have made 15 ish bucks 
However, the box is just too beat up for me. I left that behind. The uh, box is pretty important, especially when selling on Amazon. did find this game. This is new to me. Uh, any any Ravensburger games I tend to look up. And this one has some value, 30 to 40 bucks, even in used condition. So that one did go home with me, despite how I put it back on the shelf. It went in my cart. I used to do good with these Labyrinth games, Ravensburger again. However, value really came down on these. It's 20 bucks brand new. This one was used, and I would have lost money on that, so I, I left that one behind. Then I found these dolls that were suffocating in these bags behind me, and those big eyes I recognize as the LOL, the surprise dolls. You can see even the the, the ones without their pants sell for nine bucks, and the ones in these bags have uh, not only I guess they have dresses, not really pants, but they have a lot of accessories. I think I get $15 to $20 each on, on, on those things. So that's a cool little find. Plushies, I like looking at the plushies. I did find uh, Squishmallows. They used to be more money than they are now, but I still found this one, which sells for roughly $25. Bucks. So it was a cool little find. He was clean. Always make sure there's no stains or weird stuff. Speaking of, I find this FAO Schwartz, which some stuff has value, this eucalyptus eating koala bear. However, if you look at his butt here, uh, he, he doesn't mind. He's, he's in public, but I'm going to put this back and let some other kids sneeze on it. This was another mistake of the day. So this is a uh, a little brownie. This is a Girl Scout plush. And as you can see, I did some hasty research once again. I was like, 226 of these are available on eBay. So I was like, man, this is this is a popular product. However, what I failed to do is actually look at how many are actually selling. And here you can see that only five total have sold in, on eBay, that number up in the corner. Only five of these have sold in the last 90 days on eBay, roughly 225 available on the market. This is just another bad buy. The basic law of supply and demand. The supply is enormous. The demand is very, very low. I'm going to lose money. Uh, I probably just won't even bother. So I bought it for a dollar. I should have just uh, burned that near my feet to give myself some warmth because that's about what I did. And then I found Dory. There's a whole movie about finding Dory and there she was this whole time. How ironic. Cute little plush. Disney plushes do well. Uh, she did have dirty eyes, which was strange because she lives in water. You'd feel like uh, she might want to wash herself. It would have been $15, $16 score only for a dollar or two, but I left Dory. And when I started out, I made a ton of mistakes. It's just part of the learning process. So don't get discouraged if you're out there making mistakes. If you made it here all the way to the end, thanks for watching. And here's to making mistakes. See you next time.